when when did you decide to get into the entertainment industry? Uh, I would say about 13 is when I decided. You were 13 years yeah, old. Yeah, when I wanted to be an actor. I, I got into karate first. So I, <laughs> I, so I was in love with like uh, Bruce Lee and uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. And it was a movie that back in the day called Three Ninjas. And my, I, I told my mom, I was like, I want to do what they doing. And she was like, okay, well, I'm going to put you in karate. And so I was like, cool. So I took karate and I got a black belt in karate. Little fun fact. You have a black belt in karate? Yeah, I bust that ass. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know what? This whole time the interview I was afraid of was Jason, but I'm actually afraid uh, of him. <laughs> and so, and so I got my black belt. And then while I got my black belt, I was 13. And then I realized like, yo, karate isn't really what I wanted to do. It was like, it was like, I wanted to do what they, they was doing karate in these movies, but I wanted to like do what they, I wanted to act. That's when it really clicked for me that I wanted to be an actor. And so I realized all my favorite actors were comedians. So I looked up to Eddie Murphy and Jim Carrey and Jamie Foxx, Martin Lawrence, the Waynes family. And so I was like, oh, if I want to be an actor the, the way I want to be an actor, I need to get into stand-up comedy. And so that's what kind of got me into wanting to do stand-up comedy and, and buying old, like, Def Comedy Jam tapes <laughs> and uh, where Eddie Murphy Delirious on DVD and just all those things. And I really started becoming, like, a comedy nerd. And so by the time I got to college, um, I started booking some movies. And then by the time I got to L.A., I already had two movie credits under my belt, like legitimate movie credits. And then, uh, and so that kind of helped me start getting booked out here. Wait, so, you, but you just, you said, I went to college, I just got two movie credits. Like, how did, <laughs> how did you do that? <laughs> so there's a producer by the name of Will Packer. Uh, Will Packer and I, we're actually from the same hometown. Uh, I was an honor student. <laughs> and, and Will was speaking at um, some event for all the like, honor, like high school honor students. And that was my senior year. And so I went and he was the speaker. And he was saying how he was like, and this is young Will Packer. This is like, he had no movies. Like not, <laughs> he had no movies at the movie theater yet. It was just straight to DVD. Uh, almost like Cinemax late night movies. That, <laughs> they were though. That was kind of, it was like the Twa movie. It was like the Twa franchise and it was kind of like risque type movies that he was doing. And after he got done speaking, he was saying how, you know, he has a movie studio. His production company was in Atlanta. I knew I had just got into Clark Atlanta University. And so I went up to him and I said, hey, man, I, I want to be an actor and I, I want to get in the movies. He was like, well, yeah, man, if you ever in, in Atlanta, hit me up. And I was like, I'm going to do it, you know. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> when I had my little stick. I went to Atlanta with my stick with my little bag on it. Like I, <laughs> you know, like I'm Tom Sawyer. <laughs> and so, you know, I walked all the way to Atlanta, you know, and I'm uh, from Florida. And um and so I, I got to Atlanta, hit him up, just so happy he had got his first movie called The Gospel. A lot of people don't know this. Idris Elba, that was, that was, his, that was his first movie. Um, and so that's when I found out Idris Elba was British. Uh, yes. Um, so anyway, so I went on set to be a background actor. And this is, this is something everyone, I mean, y'all, you know, psychologists, uh, psychiatrists, psychologists. Psychotherapists, Psych mostly. Psychotherapists. Psychiatrists. But this anyone that's watching or anybody that has any aspiring dreams, but it's also just one of those follow your heart, follow, don't, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Do what, what, what you're called to do, right? Because I remember being at school, it was a school day, and Will was like, come up here to be a background actor. And so I asked my friends, I was like, yo, you want to go to this movie set uh, to be a background actor? And everybody, <laughs> They wanted to do their work, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, be collegiate. You know, they was like, well, you, it's school right now. I was like, yeah, but it's a movie. And they was like, no, nah, we going to go to class. And I was like, well, all right, well, I'll, I'll go by myself then. So I go there by myself. I, t I reintroduce myself to Will. Will was like, hey, man, I said, y'all, I'm the one from St. Pete. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Even though he had told me to come up there. But, but I reintroduced, because that was our first time seeing each other in, in a while, in about a year. And so he introduced me to the director. And the director was like, a director named Rob Hardy. That was his uh, partner back in the day. And so the uh, director said, uh, yo, what do you do? And I said, man, I do whatever you need me to do. I act, sing, dance, I fly if you want me to. Well, whatever you need me to do, I do it. And then they started whispering in each other's ear. They said, hey, man, an actor is a rapper that we casted for a role. He's not showing up. 
They was like, we want you to audition for this role right now. I said, ha, 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 do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so I went in their trailer. This is how long ago this was. Will and Rob, they were sharing the trailer at the time. That's how long ago this is. They would never share a trailer now. I went in their trailer. I went over the sides. Literally, I had 10, 15 minutes to prepare. They came in, recorded me. I did the audition. I booked it on the spot. The next day, I'm filming my first feature film. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And then that same group, it was called Rainforest Films at the time. Now it's called Will Packer Productions, but because uh, they, they split. But at the time, their next movie up was a movie called Stomp the Yard. And Stomp the Yard ended up being like a very successful movie. It was like number one at the box office, like I think three weeks in a row. And, uh, and I was able to get in that movie because I was in the gospel and then I auditioned for Stomp the Yard. And, and yeah, so those are the two movie credits that I had under my belt. So when I moved to LA, I was, I was uh, able to get a commercial agent uh, easily because of that.